Um, we wanted to simplify construction of community genomics websites and enable individual labs and research communities to build these websites. Um, also encourage high quality and standards based websites and data and to expand and reuse code, which is really what we're all here for. We have 14 databases using the code base right now. Um, and while you may not have visited all of these sites, you probably have enjoyed some of the plants that they represent. Uh, we've had a really strong inroads into the fruit community. So we have lots of different fruits uh, represented, as well as peanuts and different types of legumes and everybody's favorite chocolate. Uh, I'm also working mostly on hardwood trees. So we have lots of modules available so far, um, from organisms, stocks, germplasms, phenotypes, genotypes, and you can really get into a lot of different types of sequencing data, sequence analysis. Um, there's also genetic maps, all different types of libraries, and some basics that most websites want, contacts, um, you can house data under different projects, publications. I mean, we do have a really nice jobs management program. You can load up, say, six unit genes at a time, walk away, it sticks everything on a cron job, and you come back the next morning and everything's been loaded into your database. So that's actually quite nice. Um, this is one of the sites. This is um, one of mine, actually. And it's all trees in a certain plant family. You can see we've got organisms to the left. You click on one, you can go through EST assemblies, CAG results, um, variety of back libraries, cDNA libraries, um, other DNA samples that are available. If you were to go through the, um, through, through the keg uh, tab, you can drill down into different protein families, see your unigenes. You can click on a unigene. You can, of course, look at the sequence. If you scroll down, you can see your blast hits. You can see go terms. So all of these types of things are available. You guys kind of see where I'm going. Um, you've probably used community websites like this. So why would you use Triple? Um, it's open source. And most of the stuff you need for a website is already there, so you can get started a lot faster than starting from scratch. It is on GitHub, and we now have APIs, which are pretty new, but very exciting because they make all of the modules work together a whole lot better. Um, and we have reasonably good documentation, although we always welcome additions. And I would say that I think our developing group is really friendly, and we have a very responsive mailing list. Oh, and we are a member of the GMOD consortium, so we're approved. If you go to the GMOD, um, conferences, there will usually be tutorials on installing, using Triple, and maybe also on becoming a developer. Um, so I know you're all very excited and you're ready to start working on this project tomorrow. Uh, if you just want to download the code and create a site and theme it, just make it look like your own. We don't want all the sites to look exactly alike, that's pretty boring. Um, you need a little bit of PHP, but not a ton. Um, it's really good to understand the database and the schema relationships. And then there's a, a theming API specifically for people who are just trying to change the look and feel. Um, and if you understand a little bit about how Drupal theming works, that's going to be very helpful. If you're ready to go completely d dive in, you can start developing new content modules. You're going to need a lot more knowledge of PHP. And there's a separate Drupal API and Triple API. And we kept these sort of separate so that people who are just theming are going to have a much smaller mountain to climb than full-fledged developers. Um, we have a lot of grants floating out in the ether that we're hoping are going to get funded. Um, integration with iPlant is one of the big things we really want to do. Uh, we'd like our users to be able not just to download and look at data, but to analyze it, to interact with it. Um, a lot more semantic web, ontology integration. Interoperability between all the triple databases would be really nice. We are currently developing modules for geospatial data, environmental data, and a big breeders toolbox for plant breeders. Um, although I should say triple is species agnostic if you want to go animals, bacteria, whatever. I think you could use it. Um, and mostly we just want to gr grow a really great open source community. So with that, these are the three main developers other than myself. And these are the PIs who are furiously writing grants so that we can stay in business. And we'd like to thank our supporters, the NSF, the USDA, and the Forest Service so far. Thank you. Five minutes and four seconds.